said to be more powerful than the Jose Rizal class frigates. What exactly is in the new Corvette warship HDC 3200? What are the capabilities of this warship, let's review it in this video. HDF 3200 is the model of the ship, on which the Philippines' two new Corvette warships will be based. It will be built by South Korea's shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries, which also built the previous Jose Rizal class frigates BRP Jose Rizal and BRP Antonio Luna. These Corvettes will be the BRP Miguel Malvar, FF06, and BRP Diego Silang, FF07. Structurally the design of this ship served as its countermeasure. It is only more advanced than the Rizal class frigates. Due to its design, it has a reduced radar cross-section, low infrared signature, and low underwater radiated noise. Now let's look at the specifications of this Corvette warship. Displacement. BRP Miguel Malvar weighs 3,200 tons and has a length of 118.4 meters, a draft of 3.8 meters, and a beam of 14.9 meters. Later we will find out why the Miguel Malvar class Corvette is longer and wider than the Jose Rizal class frigates. Like the Jose Rizal class frigates, it has four MTU STX diesel engines, and a combined diesel and diesel propulsion system as its power source to operate the ship's sensors and armaments. It can sail 15 knots and up to 4,500 nautical miles or 8,300 kilometers in endurance of 20 days, compared to the Rizal class which has an endurance of 30 days. Let's look at the sensors and radar of this Corvette. This has EL-M, 2258 Alpha S-Band 3D AESA multifunction radar, and this is Baseline 4 Integrated Combat Management System by Hanwha Systems Naval Shield. It has a range of 400 km extended version and 200 km for the standard version. It is capable of simultaneous multi-beam, long-range surveillance, and classification, with high accuracy to track targets and identification of future threats. It is more advanced compared to the radar of Jose Rizal class frigates which is 3D Baseline D Multimode Phased Array C-Band Radar with only Baseline 2 Integrated Combat Management System. For the navigation and search radar, it will use HEN's old Sharp Eye MK11 navigation and surface search radar. Based on the ship's specifications and needs, it has an NA25X fire control radar by Celex ES. Safran Paseo Extra Long Range Electro-Optical Infrared Sensor. This is more advanced than Resol frigates because it has a TV spotter and a very long-range XLR camera that reaches more than 25 kilometers. This sensor is capable of manual and automatic surveillance, auto-target tracking, visual identification, and transmission for 3D targeting information. For the hull-mounted Sonar Link 16 Lowest Data Link Link 22 BLOS Data Link Medium to Low Frequency Active Passive Hull-mounted Sonar. Variable Depth Sonar. This will be for searching, detecting, tracking, and classifying targets. Because of this sonar, it can detect ships, submarines, torpedoes, sea mines, and other underwater obstacles. It is also not confirmed if the corvettes will be equipped with towed array sonar, because the Rizal class frigates do not have slots for a towed array sonar. For the countermeasure systems it has 2x12 tube mortar type decoy launchers. Now let's look at the reason why this corvette is bigger compared to the previous Rizal class frigates. The armaments, due to the 16 vertical launch system, the front section is larger compared to the Rizal class frigates, which can fit another 16 cell VLS, to make it 32 cell VLS. The VLS to be installed here is the VL Mica and it is a short range missile defense system with an operational range of 60 to 80 kilometers and a speed of Mach 4 and it has a load of 12 kilograms, 26 pounds, warhead. At the front of the VLS is the main gun of the ship, a 76mm Odo Malara Super Rapid Naval Gun that can fire 85 to 125 rounds per minute and has a range of 16 km standard ammunition, 20 km extended ammunition, and 40 km for volcano ammunition. The system is compact enough to be installed on relatively small warships. Its high rate of fire and the availability of several types of ammunition make it capable of short-range anti-missile point defense, anti-aircraft, anti-surface, and ground support. Ammunition includes armor piercing, incendiary, directed fragmentation effects, and a guided round marketed as capable of destroying maneuvering anti-ship missiles. It can be installed in a stealth cupola. Behind the funnel are placed the 2x4 canister anti-ship cruise missiles SSM, 700k Sea Star guided missile with operational range. 180 plus km with a warhead load of 250 kg and a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. 
The design of the new Corvette can be seen because it has a cover on both sides compared to the Resol class frigate which exposes both sides to reduce the radar cross-section. The covers behind the anti-ship missile have a retractable gate to prevent the ship's superstructure from burning during missile launching. In the first part of the funnel, there is a retractable gate where the two SEA triple tube torpedo launching systems K745 Blue Shark with an operational range of 19 kilometers and with a maximum speed of 45 plus knots, 83 plus kmh. These are self-propelled torpedoes that can be detonated even if they are not in contact with their target. In the upper deck of the superstructure is placed a 35mm Aselsen Gokdanis close-in weapon system, a twin-barrel rapid-fire cannon and it is made in Turkey. It has 1,100 rounds per minute and it has an effective firing range of 4,000 meters, the good thing about it is that it has its own tracking radar, EO sensors, and 3D search radar. Another secondary gun, the Aselsen Smash 30mm naval gun, can be placed on the upper deck of the hangar, but this one is also optional for the needs of the ship. Based on the photos and videos, it does not have a secondary naval gun, but it will be equipped with four 12.7mm heavy machine guns, two on both sides. It has not yet been confirmed what anti-submarine helicopter will be installed on this Corvette, but it is likely that the AW-159 Wildcat helicopter will be installed because it is also used by the Philippine Navy and it is already familiar with its use. Its rigid hull inflatable boat is covered by a retractable gate with a funnel. Since HHI is the shipbuilder, it is likely that the Hanwha Systems Naval Shield Integrated Combat Management System will be installed as CMS and it is confirmed that Baseline 4 will be used here, when this ship is finished it will be approved as Tactical Data Link 16 and 22. The beauty this tactical link has been tested for more than 30 years by delivering numerous combat systems for more than 80 ships ranging from destroyers, frigates, and fast attack craft to submarines, etc. As the central nervous system of naval vessels, the combat system detects incoming threats simultaneously by using onboard sensors, performs analysis, and gives commands to weapon systems like naval guns in order to remove the threats. Because of this, these corvettes can share tactical data with the Resol class frigates, because they also have a link P. If we see the whole of this corvette when it comes to structures, sensors, and armaments, it can keep up with and defend against the enemy's modern war equipment. The Miguel Malvar class corvette will be the most powerful warship of the Philippine Navy when it is completed. A second corvette, expected to be launched later this year and delivered next year, will be named BRP Diego Silang. Each will be outfitted with 16 VLS cells, 8 anti-ship missiles, a 35mm close-in weapon system, and a 76mm main gun. As part of its efforts to modernize its navy, the Philippine government launched the AFP Modernization Program, under which it has ordered a total of 10 warships from the South Korean shipbuilder. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more military technology updates.